Hello best friend and oh, welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. This is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend girl you have found me. So grab a snack and a drink. Hit that subscribe button because girl we gotta talk. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the view. We are here in Kyoto, uh, Japan and I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the view and my outfit girl look it's giving schoolboy chic it's giving teacher's pet it's giving um <laughs> mom i got another f bitch um <laughs> listen not my mama bitch you know what i mean um listen you guys we gotta talk because so the kardashians are officially back and uh well you guys listen they are definitely trying their hardest to keep their show relevant okay they definitely are oh my god it got blue that oh and I, okay, don't move, bitch. Anyways, so they're definitely trying to keep the show relevant as much as possible. And I appreciate them trying to go the extra mile, but I just feel like they don't, like, next thing you know, like, Kim is gonna need to go to, like, the moon just to get another season. Like, you know, astronaut Kim Kardashian West reporting for duty. Like, here's the thing. This whole Kim Kardashian and Kourtney Kardashian, like, fight over the wedding and Dolce & Gabbana, it's giving bored. You know, it's giving really, again, um, but listen, there is a phone call that happened between Kim and Court, and we have to talk about it. We're going to listen to it together, and we are going to talk about it because it is, it is actually kind of insane how, how they're really trying to, like, let it in, like, let us in. And actually, like, kind of putting down some walls. But, like, they, if this is real, like, Kim and Courtney, like, girl, they hate each other. <laughs> so, this is this is the, the, the clip. Watch. Let's Kim listen. Kim Hello. Listen. Hi. I'm going to put it here. Hey. Not that original. Everyone does 90s. Like, it's not a new concept is what I'm trying to say. And there's only so many looks to pick from. You're talking about the bullshit details because it's all your egotistical, selfish-minded thing about you cannot stand someone else being the center of attention. You came to my wedding, you couldn't be happy. You complained from the second you got there till the second you went. That's what it's about. From here on, you couldn't be happy. You couldn't be happy for me. You couldn't be happy that I was the center of attention and you weren't. Like okay, so let's break down a little bit of what's going on. So. In that first clip, Kim Kardashian is basically, you know, what, what they're fighting about is the whole thing about the Dolce & Gabbana thing and, like, you know, that uh, Kim Kardashian copied Courtney's wedding and Kim is talking about the looks and she's talking about how, you know, the 90s is not original and everything like that. But Courtney, that's not what she is referring to, right? And that is what's getting Courtney so riled up because Kim Kardashian only sees like the material side of it. You feel so low of me that you like to. No, I want you to dig deep and figure out why you hate me so much and why you're so angry with me because all of this never happened. I was so happy for you. I was so. Why would I not be happy for you? I felt like I was happy for you. I was so happy for you. I felt like you weren't happy for me. Because you have a serious vendetta. You just are different. You hate us. So what I don't understand basically is why, you know, Courtney's always say, I don't have to be a part of it. I don't have to be a part of it. But like, if it's bringing so much unhappiness to you, Courtney, you got to get out of it. You know what I mean? Now, of course, I know that there might be contracts and money and so much and so many things in the in the mix. But I just honestly feel like, girl, Never jeopardize your happiness or your mental or physical or, or spiritual health for a show, for money. You know what I mean? And I feel like Courtney, you know, telling Kim she's a, nar a narcissist, I really feel like it must have been really tough, you know, growing up next to Kim Kardashian, you know, where, you know, you can tell Kim does love attention, but I, this is just so messy. And you know what it is? I'm telling you, Kris Jenner must have been asleep that day that they decided to post this because damn. <laughs> You and about how it looks to the world about you. 
So Kim, she now has brought up Courtney's friends and also that they have a group chat titled Not Courtney. And that is honestly, I just feel like that's such a low blow. You know, I think that's such like a low, such a dig. It's such a dirty dig because it's like, damn, you know, I get that like you're having issues, but also like that's your sister. Like, I know this is a show. I know this is, you know, all of these things, but like it is actually very sad. And it's such a like low blow to say like we have a group chat trying to decipher what it is that you, what is going on with you. And even your friends are coming to you. I, I mean, your friends are coming to me and, and to us asking what's going on because you're so different, you know, like that honestly that's insane to me. Like, I, I would never pick to, like, a, a sister. You know what I mean saying these things? Are you happy? Yes. Not, not when I'm on the phone with you. I was five minutes ago. We, just, we all are concerned. We all think that you're just really not happy. So you're telling me that I'm unhappy and that I'm miserable and that you have a side chat called not Courtney, but you're telling me that you're happy for me. I have a happy life, and it just, the happiness comes when I get the f away from you guys. Like, Listen, I have to tell you guys, I really think that the Kardashians might be one of the most like toxic families because I mean, look, you have you have all of these. I mean, everybody is famous, you know, everybody is famous and you have, you know, Kris Jenner, who is the puppet master you have kim kardashian who is maybe one of the most famous recognizable faces on planet earth you have chloe who you know she's just i mean everybody's famous kendall jenner is the most you know paid mo biggest paid model in the world kylie jenner billionaire like it's all money it's all material it's all perfectionism you know perfectionism and i really feel like courtney just wants no no part of that Oh, wait, no. Okay. I am bedoozled. Let me tell you guys something. You know all that shit I said in the beginning of this video? <laughs> no. Take it all back. That was probably the, like, most realest thing that the Kardashians have ever, like, allowed to air. Let me tell you something, though. I felt, honestly, that Kim Kardashian was not very nice. Bringing up Courtney's children. Bringing up Courtney's friends. Talking about a side chat. I mean, honestly, for me, that's just like being such a, um, what is that thing called? A backstabber. Um, no, 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 not a backstabber. Um, canalla. So the word in Spanish is canalla. Hang on, let me find the word in English. Hey, Siri, how do you say canalla in, uh, hang on, let me try and find it. Uh, I don't even know how to spell it. Canalla in Spanish to English. I don't know how to spell it. Uh, canalla, maybe that's the like okay, so it's like a swine, a rat, a creep, a what? Um, so you know, it's it's an untrust untrustworthy person because it's like, damn, you really are going there with your own sister, you know? And to be very honest, I just feel like Kim definitely was not very nice there and i think that you know courtney has definitely expressed how how over she is of the show how over she is of the sisters how over she is of everything but i just feel like look if you're so also so over it then you gotta you gotta leave the show you gotta leave the show but of course i'm sure there's contracts and of course you know there's money involved but what this is like really like this is probably you know the most real thing they've allowed out i don't know if chris jenner was having a day off that day but damn that's like a lot but what do you guys think let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear from you guys it seriously is insane just how like how they've allowed that to like be I don't know. It's 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 really really crazy. And at whose side are you on? Are you on Kim's or Courtney's side? I feel like yes, express yourself and all of that. But like telling her you have side chats and that her own children come to you because they have issues with her. To 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 do that while filming, I think that's really like 
backstabbing uh, attitude. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.